Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Rick Megha. Myself, Upashuna Pandey. I'm a second professional MBBS student from Nilagun Sirkar Medical College and Hospital. This time, I have picked up the patella and will have a discussion on its anatomical position and site determination. But before that, let us have a few words about the patella. This patella, as we can say this, that this is a roughly triangular bone that is present in our knee joint. That is found in our knee joint. And this is the anterior most bone of our knee joint, which is like that it is capping our knee joint. So, this is also known as the kneecap bone. Now, this patella, this is the largest sesamoid bone of the body. Now, what is this a sesamoid bone? A sesamoid bone is the bone that develops in the tendon of a muscle. In which muscle does this patella develop? This patella develops in the muscle of the quadriceps femoris. This quadriceps femoris is the muscle of the anterior compartment of our thigh. You see, this uh, longitudinal ridges, these are actually nothing but the superficial fibers of the quadriceps femoris. Now, what are the other sesamoid bones of the body? You will let me know in the comment section. Okay? Now, let us look into the parts of the patella. This patella represents the apex. This is our base. See? This is our anterior surface that is denoted by the longitudinal ridges. The rough surface that is our anterior surface. And if we turn this around, we will get this smooth articular posterior surface. So we have got the two surfaces. Now we will look into the borders. The medial border and the lateral border. How do I say that this is the medial and this is the lateral border? Let us look into the posterior surface that is the articular surface. The smooth articular surface is divided by this longitudinal ridge into a smaller, you see this is smaller, smaller medial part and a larger lateral part. Why come the medial part is smaller and the lateral part is larger? For that we need to look into the femur. You see this is our femur. This femur, this the articular surface in the lower end where the patella articulates. This presents a lateral part and a medial part. Here the lateral part is larger and the medial part is smaller. So the patella needs to fit here. So it will have the larger lateral and the smaller medial in accordance with the articular surface of the Femur. Now we will uh, determine the site and the anatomical position. For that, we need to know that this is the apex and this is the base. The apex, this faces inferiorly. This points to the inferior portion. And the base faces superiorly. Our anterior surface is rough. And are denoted by this longitudinal ridges. And if we just turn this around, we will get this smooth posterior articular surface. And we have already found out the medial and the lateral one. This is our medial border and this is our lateral border. So we have got the superior, inferior, lateral, medial, anterior and this is our posterior side. So we can now easily hold this in the anatomical position. Now I have a trick with you. Trick to serve with you. Let us keep this patella in the table. Such that this apex faces away from you. Let us keep this. And the trick is that the patella will tilt to its own side. So let us see on which side it tilts. It is tilted in the left side. So we can say that this is our left patella. 
Now let us hold this in anatomical position. So this is our left patella held in the anatomical position. We have hold it with the left hand and we have already seen its part. Let's see once more. This is our apex where this lateral border and this medial border means this is our upper border or the base. This is our anterior surface denoted by the longitudinal ridges and if we turn this around we will get the smooth posterior articular surface where we will find that that the medial part is smaller and the lateral part is larger. So we have determined its side that this is our left patella and this is the anatomical position of the patella. So that's all for today's video. You will let me know which sided patella do you have in your bone set. Comment in the comment section.